Hi, I'm Olivia with Running Shoes Guru, and I'm talking today about the Nike Revolution 6 Next Nature. The Nike Revolution 6 is a budget-friendly daily trainer. It is a great introductory running shoe for the new runner. It'll cost you roughly $65, but I've seen it on various other websites for much cheaper. With that being said, this is a great shoe for your money. There isn't a lot of new technology in this newer model, but it is a simple design that offers uh, some flexibility and what Nike likes to call an intuitive touch. A pretty cool thing I learned about the Nike Revolution 6 Next Nature is that Nike is starting to use recycled materials in their shoes. This shoe is made up of 20% of recycled material. So that is why it's called the Nike Revolution 6 Next Nature. This is one of Nike's most cost-friendly shoe. It comes in a variety of colors, but most of the color combinations are pretty basic, uh, just like this one. So the black, gray, and the white with uh, the hot pink swoosh. I myself, for like a basic minimalist shoe, would rather just see it be black, white, and maybe like a gray or white Nike sign. Uh, I'm not into the hot pink added on to that. Um, you can also get them in blue, um, just all white, all black, uh, but you are not gonna get anything fancy with this shoe. My first impressions of the shoe, uh, I really didn't have one. I, I opened the box and uh, there's really nothing that your eye's drawn to. Uh, it's not really exciting, but that's okay. Sometimes I like just a basic minimalist shoe and that is what the Nike Revolution 6 offers. They come true to size, but run a little snug in the midfoot area. Once I wore them around for a few minutes, they loosened up and I didn't have any issues there. They weigh eight ounces and have a heel drop of nine millimeters. Lacing them up for the first time felt good. Uh, right away I noticed how breathable they felt and how light they felt on my feet. And my first run out in them was a, sh a short distance and I had no uh, complaints whatsoever uh, when wearing these. The sole unit of the shoe. This is probably the area of the shoe that stands out the most when you're looking at it. It has indentations that run along um, the bottom of the shoe, so from the heel, and then it gradually disappears up to the toe area. So this sole is made out of EVA foam, but it has no name because it's one of Nike's lower end running shoes. The outsole of the shoe has a design that is computer generated. It was made to give you a natural feel with cushioning and full flexibility. It covers the whole bottom of the shoe and it will give you fantastic traction on any type of surface and various weather conditions. I took them out in uh, wet, dry conditions on grass, turf, uh, concrete, and I had no issues with them slipping. While running in these shoes, you will notice the stableness of them. I can say it was very responsive, but I can say that it won't cause you any issues. The upper of the shoe is made out of mesh. It is stretchy and it contours to your foot. It does run a little snug around the midfoot, like I said before. So next time, I probably would order this in the wide option. With the mesh material being so stretchy, I would question the durability of the upper here with uh, the constant rubbing of the toes and the mesh over time. I would think there would be some tearing in them. The laces of the shoe are standard and the heel counter is pretty cushioned and offers the right amount of support that you will need. My conclusion of the Nike Revolution 6 would be that it is a nice budget-friendly trainer. It is a minimalist shoe that is perfect for the new runner. 
and it'll offer you breathability and all day comfort. I would recommend this shoe for warmer weather days. That's what I've been using it for and I've been enjoying it. If you like this review, please click like and subscribe. And if you'd like to read my full review on the Nike Revolution 6 Next Nature, please check it out at runningshoesguru.com.